I am a big sports fan. I love my local sports teams. I'm a big fan of the Baltimore Orioles. And sad to say, I don't think the Orioles are going to win many games this year. And as I look back over Orioles history, I remember when Dave McNally and Mike Cuellar and Jim Palmer and Brooks Robinson and Frank Robinson and Boog Powell and Mark Belanger and all of those guys were playing. I mean, I wish we could go back to those times or maybe find new persons who can carry us into the years ahead. And I love the Baltimore Ravens. And I was saddened deeply to see them lose in the playoffs. Disappointed, hurt. Now you might say to me, you know, Reverend Dale, that's not an earth shattering thing. And you know what? You're right. There will be other games and other opportunities and hopefully victory in the years ahead. But here's my question for you today. What do you do? How do you handle it when things don't go your way? When things don't work out in life? And with a sporting event, that's, a, you know, like you said, a minor thing. But what is it if it means something about a member of your family or your job or some dream or aspiration you had hoped for? There are several responses we can have. One, a bad one, is we can just get mad. We can just get angry. We can lash out and blame. And I'll say to you, that never works. We can blame ourselves. But that only leads to depression and deeper hurt. One of the things that we can do in a positive way is to take these hurts and pains, these losses that... I don't know about you, but they seem during COVID to be mounting up. We can take them to Jesus. And what happens? What do we find there? We find a savior, a friend, a Lord who cares deeply. Someone who understands our pains and doesn't call them small or inconsequential or insignificant, but who loves us and holds us and walks with us through the difficulties, the pains, the problems. One of the things about Jesus that I know is that he doesn't desert us. He doesn't leave us. He's not uncaring or aloof or distant, but instead he is right there with us. So when we have pains and difficulties, turn to Jesus. Turn to the friend that is closer than anyone else in this world could ever be. Turn to our Savior. I know it's, you've heard this before, but I'm going to tell you the story again. Because I think it fits well here and it bears repeating. Two men, Jesus and another man, were walking along a beach. And they were looking back over the course of this man's life and looking at what had happened at different times and they could tell this through the footprints that were left in the sand and the man commented to Jesus he said you know Lord during those most difficult hard and challenging times of my life there was only one set of footprints I thought you promised that you would be with me in those tough times that you would never leave me nor forsake me that you'd be right there Jesus smiled and he looked at the man and he said, Dear friend, it was during those times that I was carrying you. That's what Christ does. Life is filled with challenges and pains and losses and great joys. And during those times of joy and celebration, Christ celebrates and laughs and carries on with us. During those times of pain, if we allow him to, he can carry us. I don't know where your life is today. I don't know if it's a good day or a horrible day or any one of those days in between. But whatever your day is, turn to Christ who can and will love and carry you. Amen. May God bless you.